Rated T for Teen. I had read a book called Journey to the West, which is a 400-year-old Chinese novel. Welcome to Slave Ship 909. It's been adapted into lots of different mediums. There was a TV show in the UK which was massive. Damon Albarn just did an opera. So it's always had this kind of undercurrent of coolness about it. The remaining journey time is estimated at 16 hours. To me, when I talked about the possibility of doing a game, which is driven by two characters, and it's quite a big and quite an ambitious thing to do, to actually want to invest in an emotionally complex journey just between two characters. Free from the random hazards of the world. As soon as the project started, I grabbed a copy of Journey to the West, and we sat down, read through it, and just kind of looked at what elements we could use. So we took that book and based it in a post-apocalyptic North America. Replaced all the magic of the old book with technology and the demons with military droids. There are going to be many games in the future in the next five to ten years, I think, which, which, as I say, they'll, they'll stop just being classified as games. They'll stop being, and, and films will stop being classified as films, and they will be events. No matter how hard we've been trying to make stories work, they're at a the level of B-movies compared to the best movies. So we wanted to kind of attempt to bridge that gap. So it was an immense challenge, um, but we had a terrific writer, uh, Alex Garland, who came on board. He's done some great books and films, The Beach, uh, 28 Days Later. We actually sat down with Alex uh, through a series of workshops. So we got the main story arc going, we decided what locations we were going to use. We would work through the story and the level designs together. Strung together this road trip, effectively. When I originally agreed to do this project, uh, it was actually to come on board as a, as a, a director. And then, and then some way down the line, um, I was looking at some artwork and uh, saw the original drawings for Monkey and thought, actually, you know, that'd be quite a cool character to play. The other character is Trip, and she grew up in a community that her father set up. I absolutely see some of myself in Trip. I mean, it's. It's certainly in a different medium, but I, I still, I, I still really am her. So the journey actually begins with both Monkey and Trip captured on a slave ship. Trip is, escapes at the beginning. In the process of escaping, she actually shorts the whole system and causes it to crash. Monkey survives because he's so strong, so he punches and fights his way through. After the ship crashes, they both end up in New York. So she, she spots her main chance, who is this big brute. While Monkey's unconscious, Trip sticks this slave headband, which is used to control slaves, onto his head. You put this on me. Let me explain. Get this thing off, or I'm going to rip your head off. And he has to obey her orders, or else she causes him an immense amount of physical pain. Man, stop! She does this because she knows that the city is teeming with, with um, inactive mechs. What she wants him to do is to take her back to her community, which she's been plucked out of. You know, she's not doing it because she hates him. She's doing it because she has to. I die. You die. Oh. And so they start this uneasy journey together. She's the brains, if you like, and you're the brawn, and together you can defeat pretty much anything you come across. 